So, um, I want to start with this, just because it annoys me, and that's how I decide what I talk about on the show, if you haven't noticed. There's a story on NPR.com uh, right now with the headline, Canceling Student Debt is Easier Than It Sounds. Wow, easier than it sounds, great. Um, Senator Elizabeth Warren has pledged to cancel up to $50,000 of debt for 95% of student loan borrowers if she is elected president. Reading from the article now. Senator Bernie Sanders has proposed an even more generous plan if he's elected. Generous is one way, but it's, it's very easy. I don't know if I would use the word generous when someone comes up with a plan that doesn't involve their own money. It's very easy to be generous with other people's money. That's very generous. It's like if, if, uh, if, if Jim comes up to me and asks if he can steal money from Bob, and I say, yeah, sure, go ahead. Is that me being generous? Or is that me just not giving a crap about Bob? Both are, uh, the article says, both are bold, controversial pitches that would have a hard time making it through a divided Congress. But on Tuesday, Warren announced that she would use a little-known shortcut and wouldn't need Congress. As president, she says she would cancel the debts of tens of millions of student borrowers all on her own. It turns out she's probably right. Uh, Warren wrote in the statement, our country's experiment with debt finance education went terribly wrong. Instead of getting ahead, millions of student loan borrowers are barely treading water. I mean, I don't know if we can say it went horribly wrong when the problem is that people took out loans and are now expected to repay them. I don't know if that's necessarily go things going wrong. I agree we have a problem, and uh, and and there's there's an issue here. But I don't know if you could say it went wrong. This is very similar, and Democrats do this a lot with things. So it's very similar to when uh, somebody talks about accidentally getting pregnant. Hey, something went wrong, and I ended up pregnant. No, nothing went wrong. It actually went exactly right. Actually, the the sexual act that you participated in it did exactly what it's sort of supposed to do. So when you take out a loan and you sign on the dotted line, and then and then the person who gave you the loan comes back and says, we want that money now, you can't say, what? Something's gone wrong here. Something's gone terribly wrong. Uh, back to the article. About 43 million student borrowers owe the government $1.5 trillion. And until now, the department has only suffered student loan uh, offered student loan forgiveness or cancellation to borrowers who meet certain criteria. Um, but the plan, anyway, I'll summarize the rest of it. I'm not going to read the whole thing. The Warren says that sh there might be some sort of loophole that she can use where she could just on her own stroke of the pen as a president, get rid of a lot of that, a lot of that debt. Um, but at the very end, we get a, a question offered by Adam Looney of the Urban Brookings Tax Policy Center says that Warren's plan would disproportionately benefit the wealthy, with the bottom 20% of borrowers by income reaping just 4% of the savings. As such, Looney asks, why are those who went to college more deserving of aid than those who didn't? That's a good question. And we'll get back to that question in a second. But here's another question. Why are we using the phrase student loan cancellation or student loan forgiveness? See, that's not really what's being proposed. We're not talking about cancellation. We're talking about transfer. The debt will be transferred from the people who took the loan out to people who did not. That's what this is. And that's the word we should be using. Student loan transfer. So the only problem, of course, for advocates of this idea is that student loan transfer sounds unjust and kind of crazy. I mean, it sounds crazy when you put it that way, right? To say that, okay, we're going to take the loan from people who took out the loan and force someone who didn't take out the loan to pay it? That sounds crazy, and that's because it is. Um, now, of course, Bernie and, 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 uh, and Elizabeth Warren have both cl claimed that they can transfer the whole burden to the ultra-wealthy, and they'll make the so-called ultra-wealthy pay for it. The issue with that, first of all, of course, is that I'm not dumb enough to believe that it's only going to be the so-called ultra-wealthy um, carrying the burden here because it never works out that way. It never has in the past. That's the first problem. The second is that the ultra-wealthy are not any more responsible for a stranger's student debt than I am. 
I know maybe it's not popular to care that much about the ultra wealthy, but you know, the reason I don't want to have to pay back someone else's student loans is because I didn't take out the loan. Why should I have to pay it? It's not my loan. And, uh, you know, if I had a hundred million dollars in the bank, I would feel the same way. Yes, I could, I could quote, afford it more, but why should I have to do that? Any more than I should have to, you know, it, 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 it's why should I, I didn't take out the loan. It would, it would be my same argument. See, my argument right now for why I, as a non-millionaire, should not have to pay back other people's student loans, my argument is not that I can't afford it. My argument is, it's not my loan. Hey, you. Uh, yeah, you. You right, you right there. Hit the subscribe button right now. Do it. Do it right now. I thank you for your compliance. It's somewhat appreciated.